is that I have been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Diagnosis confirmed by two medical institutions back on January 20th. Uh, first realized something was wrong on my birthday weekend, January 12th. And I wish I didn't have to tell you this. Talk Radio King Rush Limbaugh with a heartbreaking announcement telling his audience Monday afternoon he's been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Limbaugh, who is an avid cigar smoker, said he first realized something was wrong last month when he experienced shortness of breath. For more on the diagnosis and treatment options, we're joined by Dr. Jeanette Neshwat. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Uh, with the stage four diagnosis, what's the type of treatment Rush is looking at over the next few months? So there are different options. Um, once you hit stage four, some of your options, of, such as surgery, are usually are out of the question. But for him, there are chemotherapy options radiation, what we call immunotherapy, ablation. So there's def definitely other options available. But when once you reach stage four, unfortunately, your five-year survival rate um, is very low. And that's why it's so important to see your doctor routinely so that we can c catch potential disease in its early stages, which usually leads to a better prognosis. And he said that he'd started experiencing shortness of breath. Uh, what are some other warning signs that we could potentially look for for lung cancer diagnosis? Sure, that's a, that's a great question. You know, sometimes in early stages, you don't really have many symptoms. But uh, we commonly see in stage three, stage four, shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, weakness. Sometimes you're coughing up a mucus and phlegm that has blood tinged to it. Um, and unintentional weight loss, uh, just loss of energy and then in his case he was feeling you know di having difficulty breathing but one of the most important things to help prevent uh one of the most important things you can do to prevent lung cancer which you know affects uh, almost 230,000 uh, people every year and kills over 100,000 people every year is just avoid smoking smoking causes more deaths in this country than drugs guns, alcohol, HIV, and car accidents combined. And that is according to the CDC. So that's the number one thing you can do to help protect yourself is avoid smoking. Of course, in addition to um, getting a good, well-balanced diet with lots of fruits and vegetables, because fruits and vegetables contain antioxidants, which can help fight against inflammation um, in, inside the body. If someone were to have a history of lung cancer in their family, how often should they be meeting with medical professionals for a checkup? That's that's a very good point you make because most of the time, um, lung cancer, for example, adenocarcinoma, it's associated with smoking, but you can still develop lung cancer and not be a smoker. There is a genetic component. Um, basically, to see your doctor once a year routinely. Now, if you have an underlying medical problem such as diabetes or asthma or heart disease, sometimes based on your current status and your, your symptoms, your doctor may want to see you more often, every three months, every six. It, is, it depends on um, what your current medical status is. Um, but just because you have a family history of lung cancer does not specifically mean you will absolutely 100% uh, develop it, but it's important for your doctor to know so that we can do screenings. For example, if you are a smoker and you've been smoking for many years and packs a day, then your doctor may want to do what's called a low-dose CT scan of your chest every year to... to to find it, to catch it in its early stages. Chest, some doctors do chest x-rays, but CTs give us a little bit more information. Always a very helpful reminder there. Dr. Jeanette Neshwat, she's a family and emergency physician. Thanks for joining us.